I'm happy to welcome the members of the Times Three Associates once again. In this episode, we're going to see the accurate method of deep diagnosis. There is an end point while diagnosing any disease. Let's see how to reach this end point using human energy science and medicine. Scientists have done researches on nature by segregating everything available in the natural environment into small groups. During this research, they discovered various fascinating and incredible things. We are about to see one among those fascinating results. Let's consider neem tree for an example. Scientists have discovered that not one leaf on any neem tree could be found to be similar to another leaf not just in the same tree but in any neem tree around the globe. Similarly, each coconut and each potato are found to be one of its kind. There is something more even marvelous. Scientists did research work on raindrops and found that each and every raindrop is different than that of the other raindrop. Among millions of raindrops, there are no two raindrops with the same shape and size. Hence, even making raindrops unique. If we look deeper into this concept, we find that no two human fingerprints match. Every single person living on this world has a unique fingerprint. Nobody is going to be born or was ever born with the same fingerprint of another person. In the same way, retina in human eyes. You would have given biometric scans of the retina for Aadhaar card. So nobody has ever had retina like yours and nobody will ever have it in the future. Not just these two features in our body, but everything present in our body is unique. Do you know how a sniffer dog or a detection dog identifies thieves? The cells in our body has a unique smell which these dogs can perceive and that is how the dogs identify them. What we have to infer from all these is that all raindrops, all neem leaves, all potatoes and each and every human might appear to be similar but each and every one of them is unique on their own way and that nature never mimics any of its creation the one and the best species in the world to copy or mimic anything is the human race nature never mimics each and every creation of god is unique and new like you nobody has ever been born or would ever be born so if you closely watch the nature you'll find that each and every human has born with special attributes special and different metrics and different characteristics even identical twins are unique you'll be able to find difference between them too it is impossible for humans to manufacture anything like this that is the specialty of our ultimate creator the god similarly not only humans are unique but diseases and their symptoms are also unique from person to person let's take headache for instance a few people suffering from headache prefers to be in a brighter place while some are light sensitive they prefer to be in the dark some of them like it where there is more air flow but for a few increasing the intensity of air increases their headache a few might sit under the fan and a few may switch off the fan some of them might find comfort by tying a piece of cloth around their head while some are found to be sensitive to touch a few lie down 
to feel comfortable but for a few lying down may induce more pain a few of them prefer to sit silently in the corner of a room but for a few listening to music or watching tv calms down their headache few people with headaches start to do heavy work which makes them forget about the headache but for a few it's the vice versa even when just a headache has such a variety of symptoms how could all diseases be treated the same way for all people these were explained at the migraine camp we held at the iit campus it was held to prove that the human energy science and medicine was successful nobody will ever display the same exact symptoms like another person for any disease you'll be able to find differences between symptoms presented by two patients with the same disease hence each and every human is born unique and they have a unique set of symptoms when they get affected by any disease then shouldn't the medicine administered to them also be unique how can we provide the same medicines to everybody when pain is concentrated on the head it is called headache but symptoms are unique in nature and if we keep naming them according to the symptoms exhibited by each and every individual it would be very hard hence the generalized term headache diseases are named according to the organs or the parts of the body that gets affected and are given a generalized name like the headache the medicines are also developed in the same manner that is why migraines have no cure taking medicines for migraine only helps to stop the pain temporarily because there is no special medicine invented for migraines the given medicine acts on a random receptor on the body and gives an analgesic effect and gives a temporary relief this is why migraines have not been cured yet therefore the medicines that keeps the disease under control does not fight against the disease at all they just block a few symptoms indicating the disease human energy science and medicine signifies that only a special and unique medicine is capable of curing human with health issues a lot of people agree on this statement but there are some practical problems while implementing it there are a lot of problems in manufacturing and distributing such unique medicines it will be hard to design a unique medicine for each and every patient even though manufacturers and researchers know that this method is very effective the complexity involved in this method prevents people from using this truthful and effective way of curing diseases human energy science and medicine has invented an easy way to follow this method using a simple solution Usually in our hospitals we only allow the patients during consultations or checkups with the doctor we do not let the persons accompanying them into the consultation room we follow this because the people who accompany the patients usually wouldn't let us know about the uniqueness of the disease we'll only be able to do a deep diagnosis if we speak to the patients himself even the way they speak indicates their uniqueness the way they express their symptoms their behavior when they are being affected by the disease shows the uniqueness of the disease a few patients might not even talk they might even say that they don't need any medicines and their family members just compel them to go to the hospital when a patient says that even that should be considered as a symptom for the disease this might be because the disease might have brought out such a change in their mental state this might appear like the ideology of homeopathy but it is not it is different from homeopathy
diseases affects humans functioning center that is the mind then it affects the life force and finally the body which is when the symptoms are displayed out of our body hence we need to do a deep diagnosis when a patient is taken into the hospital when a patient is taken to the hospital the family or the friends aren't supposed to instruct to them to tell about their symptoms beforehand or they shouldn't be the ones talking to the doctor instead of the patients only the patient is supposed to tell about their symptoms only after that if the doctor requires more information then he or she can ask the family for further details this is the best way to cure any disease just by administering a single dose of medicine this works on all sorts of disease acute or chronic hence i believe that medicine researchers would have understood the concept of deep diagnosis completely the medicines should have its own unique properties in the next video let's see how to prescribe the already existing medicine in a unique manner according to the patient's body condition it will be applicable to any type of medicine like homeopathy allopathy ayurveda siddha etc jai hind